Hello everybody, it is I, the Waluigi Big Mac, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time we're doing a, a little, a little known, uh, cult classic called Psychonauts. Uh. Anyways. Uh, so. Fun fact, originally this next Let's Play was going to be called Noah. Uh, here's the thing. That Let's Play, I almost, I almost finished that Let's Play. And then the last fucking level happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and that level, I, I could not beat that level, because what because what what it has. So see, you see, uh, you see our character right here. The platforms were about the size of him, and then they have a bunch of the kid enemies spawning around, just hopping around. And you can't, and you nearly can't, and as soon as you fall off, you can't really react and like hop back on. You can't grab the ledge or anything. You're just kind of screwed. So, uh, yeah. I was like, you know what? You, like, the level made... There's no way I can beat the level, and I'm not going to waste time trying to beat it. So, I'm just scrapping the last way altogether. And I'm going to do a game that I actually enjoy. Because this game... Because I... Because, unlike Lenoa, which was a blind playthrough, this game right here... I've beaten this game before. I haven't 100%ed it. I'm trying to 100% the sequel. But this game right here, I do enjoy. So let's continue. Start a new game. There we go. The human mind. Oh, oh, good. I remember to turn on subtitles for this. Synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, fifteen hundred grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers. Mental Marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead. And this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> oh, Mori. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years. And trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. Hmm, we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Modello. Whoa! Light Monster! <laughs> Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Get, get <laughs> in. <laughs> My name Dark with a D is Rasputin. 
Yeah. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! <laughs> Compelling. Armored like a tank. Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Bodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government <laughs> training facility. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling. But to soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. <laughs> there is a lot of charm in this game. You can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you. But we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something. To make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen. But they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find? What they don't expect? Is Raz the psychonaut? And 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 then you'll make their heads explode? <laughs> no. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. But now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Ooh, foreshadowing. Uh, sorry I wasn't talking during that. Uh, I want to treat it like Sam and Max where I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes because these cut... Because these cutscenes... Because these cutscenes, they are... They are really funny. Sometimes. Alright. This punk is available... Yep, I've already, I, this is, uh, I've already done that save file, so we're doing a different one. Uh, ooh, I get to use the keyboard. Uh, this is the PC version of the game, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Uh, I do not own an original Xbox or a PS2, uh, which is the consoles that this game originally came out for. Uh, PS2 port came out much later. Uh, but to me, this game is oh was always an Xbox uh, exclusive. Uh, anyway, we're gonna go with Raz. Pew. Uh, no. Ross Putin. Oh, I can't. Damn it. You want? Know we're gonna go with this Pootie. Uh, those who play the, uh, those who play the uh, Psychonauts two will get this reference. see each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! 
Every every character here has some brimming personality. Oleander, Sasha, uh, Mia. I mean, spelled Mila, but I'm... okay. Quick eye exam before we start. What the? Huh? Look over that way if you will. Huh. Wow, what's that? Oh, that's a side challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh -huh. Now look up for me if you will. Okay. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a Psy core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And because Oop, I have to do damn it. That I didn't mean to skip dialogue there. Home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Anyway, to, to change your camera preference, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do, do all that. Anyways. Ah, uh, there we go. Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! Uh. This one time a kid was oh, this guy. Basic braining, and Coach Oleander held him upside down until he turned... Yep, anyway, let's just collect that side card there. Uh. But so when the coach shook him up, he exploded. <coughs> I'm telling you for the last time, no. <laughs> I will never do that. I could never kill everyone. <laughs> Hi, Raz. God, I love this game. Alrighty, so... I'm Uh, anyway, so... <laughs> anyway, we're just gonna walk away. <laughs> and don't get blew him up. Excellent. Uh, anyway, we're gonna... Anyway, these are arrowheads, uh... These are your currency. You're going to have to collect a lot of these because there's a specific item you need in later on in the in the game. There's yeah, there's there's a specific item you're going to need to grab later on in the game uh, in order to progress. Uh, anyway, let's talk to the to the rest of these guys. Uh, let's talk to this guy. New, new boy, seen bear lurking in woods? Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear. Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller, also more hairy. Less lurking. Always eager to listen. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see him. Cannot lurk forever, there. Yep. I, you gotta like that guy. He has a, he has a, he has a Russian accent. Uh, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna piss off Oleander by not getting the basic braining because there's no punishment for doing that. Uh, anyway, I guess I, I should explain it a bit for Dogen. So, so Dogen's family, as explained in Psychonauts 2. Uh, cause this isn't really a spoiler for Psychonauts 2, re like, really. Like, it's not really, like, plot relevant or anything. But, uh, Dogen's family, uh, actually is really good with talking to, with talking to animals, which is why he can hear the animals, but we don't. Uh, now, now I'm not, now I'm not gonna explain anything about Raz here until we, uh, get to later on in the story, cause it gets explained a lot. But anyways, we're going to collect a few side cards here. Because could, we might as well grab them while we see them. Uh, grab this bad boy here. There's these caves. Uh, I don't feel like going all the way down the cave. Uh, grab these guys here. Uh, we almost have enough to make a, a new challenge marker. Now, now you're going to need at least nine cards to make one challenge marker. And I think a challenge marker costs $25, if I recall correctly. 
Anyway, I think that's all the ones I can see. Uh, uh, oh, there's one right there. Eh, we'll get it later. We might as well uh, head to our first. We might as well head to our first uh, first level here. Hey, where are you going, Lulu? Shh! I snuck out. That class is a death trap for crazy people. Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be causing a bloody tear. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, put this kid's death on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah. We'll settle this on the battlefield. <laughs> yep. Anyway, Bobby Silch, he's the guy you're supposed to hate, by the way. And we got ourselves some some smelling salts. So if you press uh, left on the D-pad here, you access your uh, item inventory. And if you press right, this is how you access your psychic powers, which, which we don't have any at the moment. So smelling salts is how you escape the brain. Uh, anyways... So, yeah, this guy's about space. This guy takes forever to tell stories. These two are something. These two are assholes. And this guy, well, we'll get we'll get to that guy. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic training. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It'll be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Nah, I'm ready. Well then... You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. Yeah, also, does he keep that on him at all times? That's kind of a big, uh... That's kind of a... That kind of makes his mental defenses uh, a bit not so well, don't so. you think? This is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. Hmm, why why specifically a dentist office? It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? This is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in the jaw. I warn you. Once you do, the war is on. So basically, this is a hit. And then... Charge! <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed! A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't keep moving right now! Yeah, anyway, that scene always gets me. Just the charge, death. So anyway, here's the very first level. Pretty interesting theme for a uh, for a first level. 
Uh, anyway, these things right here, these glowing things. Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up. And when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. As explained by that old man. Yep. Be a piggy, piggy. Who's coaches, little piggy? Hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. So anyway, figment. I'm not gonna be collecting every single figment, cause out, cause I would rather kill myself uh, than than do that. But uh. Anyway, here's emotional baggage. It's another uh, collectible here. Anyway. Anyway, you find anyway, you find the emotional baggage, you get this funny little cutscene. Anyway, so yeah, so it honestly doesn't, and here's the, so yeah, honestly, I'm not gonna, I'm not going for a 100% run here, because that would require going back to the levels, and trying to find every single figment, and finding figments in this game is a lot harder than the sequel, the sequel at least gives you a tool to be able to find them, so, but I'll collect as many as I can, because they do, they do help you rank up, and ranking up is very important. And I mean, it's very, I mean, it's very important. Because they get you certain powers, some of which is required. Well, there's one you have to get, but you can, but you can also do the level without it. Because there's a way to bypass the, uh, the spot you need, you need to be invisible for. Watch out! Fire down below! Yep, I took, I took a hit point there. Probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> Bobby dumped his foot. That's what? You're stupid, new kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. <laughs> Anyway, you can thanks you can thanks Lily, uh, like thank Lily for that. Also, I don't think I don't think I've I don't think we ever I, I don't think we have we don't know what her name is. Uh, but yeah, this is Lily. She loves flowers. That's that's as much as I can say because because if I were to say anything else, it would be considered a spoiler. So uh, yeah. So anyway, click. <laughs> there's there's a lot of funny lines in this game. I'm, uh, oh, huh, didn't think I would actually collect that one. Well, uh, that works. Yeah, some of these figments can be a bit of a pain in the ass to grab. Which is why I'm not going to be cl collecting all of them. Because I'd be a moron to try and do that. Yeah, see, I missed that one. Ooh, maybe not. Nope, I missed that one. Whatever, I'm not going back for it. Ooh, we're at this part. Is your name Joey? No. Because <laughs> I'm going to call you Slowy Joey. 
That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya. You. You're talking too slow. <laughs> that that that's a that's another that's another really funny line. Is your name Joey? God, it's it's there's a lot of there's a sorry, sorry if I'm sorry if I'm like giggling and all this. That, like like this is a game like this is a game I beat recently and I just want to relive the memories of playing this game because because uh, this 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 game is really funny. Up and there we go. All right then. All right then. We're gonna go down here. This wall keeps blowing up, and I and I don't like that. Ah, geez, this part. Hey, Dogen, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. All right, so we're gonna help Bobby. Or, uh, or, uh, we're gonna help Dogen here. Don't you fucking blow up. Uh, can he jump? Yes, he can blow up. Okay, then. Let's see. Is there an actual way I can help Dogen uh, get past this? Nope. All right. Well, we're just going to move on, then. There we go. Simple enough. Let's see. Actually, going up here might give me a better angle of how to. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a way to guide Bo uh, Dogen without him blown up. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about it. We missed part of his story because because the audio glitched out. Oh well. And then I gave Lady a bone. That that's something funny to say out of context. Oh god, that was loud. Anyway. First, we're gonna collect all the figments here. See, seeing them piss me off, I need to, I need to grab them anyway. So, if we, so we have a ground pound. You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. Anyway, punch. Oh no, I missed one. Not, not punching that one. And here's our reward. They they blow up. Now that's funny. Most people, they got something to hide. They store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, in these tiny vaults in their minds. But the enemy is not allowed any secrets in wartime. Are they, soldier? So go ahead and bust open this vault. 
I got nothing to hide. Anyways. So what's it? You enjoy that. One of my favorites. Yeah. Anyway, so one thing about the collectibles. Uh, obviously, there's like a bit, like a bajillion uh, figments, but there are five emotional baggage and two of these uh, vaults here. Anyway, Oleander's pride. Okay. Leading in the war. Uh, notice, notice something. Notice how he's a bit taller here. Hmm. Something f seems fishy, but I don't know what I can say about it. Maybe, maybe he's no, maybe the. Maybe it's the way it's uh, all run down, but uh, yeah. Uh, like I don't know. Oh, hey, is this thing? This little guy can teleport you to any previous previously visited area in the current mental world. Just pick the destination. Every, everyone likes this guy. He's he's funny. He, he makes funny noises. I see now. Oh, poor, poor rabbit. Anyway, we're just going to... I, I like how he eats it first. Anyway, we're just going to go over here first. Grab this, uh, ow. I know, I know that was risky, but, uh... Hey, we ranked up! Anyway, we're gonna grab this thing. Uh, where else? Oh! Run, bunny! Run, run, bunny! That, that's all you, that's all you say when you, when you approach them. Anyway, I'm gonna grab all these figments I, I totally missed. Because going back would actually kill me. Uh, we got this tree. Yeah. Oh, douse! Oh, douse him in the gun and gunner position. Eh, that doesn't surprise me. Anyway, let's let's head down here. Then we just gotta raise the flag. And now it's rail grinding, because this, this game came from the 2000s. Uh, all the 2000s games need uh, rail grinding. Ah, yes, this part. I remember when uh, playing this game for the first time, I had a bit of trouble trying to get past this part. Man, I'm so used to how this works in uh, Psychonauts 2. Anyway, uh, to start swinging, you just hold a direction. or Well, it has to be whatever direction you're facing. Uh, then you press Y to switch sides. This is unlike uh, Psychonauts 2, where, you, where you, if you hold the opposite direction, uh, you should start swinging in that direction. And then there we go. Anyway, we, we, now we got fire. But first, let's grab this guy. Yeah, you can actually skip those. I need to remember how. Now we can now I can jump. There we go. Hold it right there, boy. That's a mental cobweb. You can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them. <sighs> so anyways, yep, so we 
so metal cobwebs. We need, uh, remember how I said we need a specific, we need to save up, uh, specific, yeah, so cobweb trouble? The camp store sells this handy device for removing pesky mental cobwebs. Buy your cobweb duster today. Yep, this is, uh, mental cobweb duster is required, uh, to beat the game, by the way. Ah, yes, this part. Let's see, I, I think the tender way is to do this? Yep, that's what we needed to do. I'm just gonna do this. Uh, hopefully this this works. Otherwise, we might fall to our death. We fell to our death. Anyway, we have five more lives. And then we jump up here and jump up here. And that's the other thing. The, sometimes it's hard to tell uh, how close you are to be able to uh, jump from uh, these things. There we go. And then we break that wall, and here we are. As you can see, the trapeze is very difficult. Most cadets can't handle it. You might just want to stay away from it. You still get a participation ribbon at the end of camp. All right, well, first we're going to grab all these here. Also, notice that we can't get that because there's a metal cobweb in the way. And if I... If I recall correctly, you can't get a mental cobweb duster until rank 20, I think? There we go. We were just slightly big enough to be able to fit through that. Anyway, we are rank 4 now. This is going well. Yeah, also, there's another mental cobweb down there. I... Wasn't there a way I can get to... Eh, you know what? I'll, I'll worry about it later. Anyway, time for some, uh, Ryan Grailing. Ah, See you at the bottom. Yep, so you switch from side to side here. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Some of these uh, vagments are, aren't war-related. Like, I saw Cleaver. <laughs> yeah, I totally could have grabbed that emotional baggage somewhere, but... Ooh, actually, you know what? We can probably... We can teleport back, probably. Yeah, you know what? Let's show this off real quick. Because we get spat out here. Uh, the gun's no longer there, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's see. You can also break these snowmans and uh, they drop some uh, health here. There we go. We're all topped off on health. Our uh, three hit points there. And then we can just go back through here. And then we're going to try and figure out if I can... Because I, I know there's a way to be able to grab that... Uh, that purse uh, we just saw there. 
Actually, you know what? It might be it might be better interest if I uh, jump cut over there. So you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Alrighty, I'm alrighty. I'm back here. So and I figured out what what went wrong. We can actually jump on uh, this plane here, and then we can just uh, hop right here. And there we go. We got the purse. I knew I knew it was possible. I I think there was like. I think there was one emotional bag you said we can't get until late game. I could be completely wrong on that. Uh, however, with that being said, let's just let's just get past uh, this part again because it's not that hard. I mean, like this is the first level in the game. It it can't it can't be hard. Ooh, actually, we need to go that way. And then, just... We just have to go through the grind rails again. And we can attack during it, so... Miss that. Oh well. Yep, you can also adjust the speed of how you're going. So holding up makes you go really fast, and holding back makes you go really slow, as you can see here. Anyway, let's just move on here. So, we might be able to finish this uh, by the end of the episode. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, oh, this, this part. You can't laugh at me. You call this challenging. Only thing this is doing is uh, making me feel uh, a bit dizzy. Also, grabbing, also once again, grabbing all the uh, figments in this area is going to be nothing but quite the nuisance. See, that wasn't too hard. Ah, no one's here. Oh, there is a uh, an opening here. Hold it right there, son. Now, just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not, that's not Ori, that's not Ole Oleander being written, that's not Oleander's name being written on there. Glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. I, I, I like how his eyes are twitching. Well, hey, that was the first. Make us look bad in there. We're in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggleicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. 
I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh, Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, if you're holding an item, you can press you can press uh B then put it back in there. But anyway We did that pretty well, don't you think? Oh dear, I missed one. Let me And now he's and now only Andrew's mumbling. Gr just great. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred. Okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. What? <laughs> You're a genius. Come on, Dogan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Man, you guys are good. <laughs> this this is really hey, funny. Martin, what's up? I'm hunting the most dangerous prey of all. Man. <laughs> <laughs> just just the all just the one kid just vanishing almost immediately is really funny. Uh, ooh, actually, you know what? I think I think this has gone on a far bit too long. So you know what? Thank, thank you for your input, Holy Hunter. Uh, anyway, that is uh, the end for today's episode. I want to move away from the from the megaphone so we don't hear Holy uh mumble. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. If you guys uh, enjoy the content that I do, please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. It will help the channel grow and everything. Uh, we're just going to zoom in on Raz's face here. And I'll see you guys in the next episode where... Uh, thank you, old man. Anyway, uh, anyway, we'll we'll see you guys in the next episode before someone else interrupts. Uh, until then, have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs>